when it comes to writing and editing T-SQL, there are a lot of disagreements out there, very passionate disagreements about whether we should have tabs or whether tabs should all be replaced by spaces. If you or your team has taken sides, you can easily configure Management Studio to agree with you and to help you be consistent with your team or your personal editing practices. In Tools Options, under Text Editor, we can go into Transact SQL and expand it and then go to Tabs. And here we can configure for new documents. Do we want to keep tabs or do we want to insert spaces? And also how big should the tabs be? So I'm gonna say I want spaces instead of tabs. But of course, this is just gonna be for new stuff. Let's say I have existing documents that already have tabs in them and see, this isn't for spaces. I'm arrowing back and forth and this is a tab. Well, if I want to, in my existing document, replace tabs with spaces. I just did control H to bring up my replace box. So I've got what I wanna find and then what I wanna replace. And I, I, this isn't what I wanna use yet. I'm gonna change this. But I do have this dot star enabled. This says I wanna use regular expressions. So I'm gonna use a special expression to say I wanna find all the tabs and I'm looking just in the current document. So I'm gonna say find all of the tab characters. And note that as soon as I put backslash T in there, as long as regular expression is checked off here, it's like it highlights in orange and is like, oh, you've got some tabs right there. I'm gonna find those for you. Well, I wanna replace these, not with some text, but with four spaces. So as soon as I do that, I can say replace all or alt A, and it goes ahead and finds all of my tabs and replaces them with spaces. Now I can arrow back and forth. Now, of course I can do the opposite. I can say, I wanna find four spaces and replace them with a regular expression of a tab, replace them all, and now my spaces have become tabs again. So whichever way you wanna do it, you can use regular expressions to easily convert those so that you're being consistent. You can also use ex regular expressions to uh, format text. And we're gonna use regular expression and a little trick in here to format a copy of this query against sales.customers. So this is the original one up here that I've already made a copy of. And the first thing I wanna do, right, this is all set up like I've just dragged the column list in. I want all of these columns to be on their own line. So I'm gonna hit Control H. And since I had the query selected, it has defaulted to, okay, I'm only gonna work on this selection. That's good, that's what I want. And I've got my regular expressions on, I like this. All right, so what we wanna look for is we wanna look for every instance of a comma and a space. And it helpfully previews that in orange for me. And what I wanna replace it with is a comma and then a new line. So I want a comma and then I want it to go to a new line and I want one, two, three, four spaces after it. So that these columns are all, at least in this section, on their own line. So it does that for me. It's easy to undo if I mess it up. But, Hmm, maybe I wanna alias these. So I'm gonna go down here and hit escape to get that dialog box to go away. What if I actually want this to be known as cust? So I've typed in my table alias here. And now I want to easily add this alias to all the lines. Well, I'm gonna make them consistent. I'm gonna put my first you know, line like it, you know, just, just like everyone else on its own line because I wanna alias it as well. And then, with my mouse here, I need to hold down the Alt key, and then I am dragging my mouse. See this yellow bar? This yellow bar is the magical vertical column I have selected. It doesn't even have to all fit on the screen at once. What I did was I held down Alt and then just dragged my mouse, and now 
when I type, it is going to type on all of the lines. So I'm typing C-U-S-T. And note that IntelliSense is kind of freaking out. This is one of those things that you may wanna turn IntelliSense off before you do this, because it just looks super wacky. And I'm like, oh, IntelliSense, I, I, I don't want any of those. I'm gonna hit escape make IntelliSense go away, and then admire my work where I've typed on all of the lines, and then I'm gonna test the query and make sure that it works. If I want to edit this now, I just need to hold down Alt, and you know, if I only wanna edit some of them, what if I, what if I, these are actually from something aliased, you know, dist, I could change it, I can then undo that. Very, very flexible, lets you easily type in a whole column, which is really, really cool. So by using Control H to bring up my replace dialog and using regular expressions to make the lines, I was able to easily format that query into multiple lines and then you know, alias it and put the alias there. I actually think that's really fun to do and makes editing queries lots more fun. I'm gonna reset it in our query environment here so that you can take a go at it and have fun in the demo scripts as well.